It's a Target 7 story that outraged a lot of you. Police charged a 60-year-old man with sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl who then got pregnant. Now, another New Mexico family has come forward, and Target 7 investigative reporter Nancy Laughlin explains the horror their family suffered at the same man's hands. These are photographs of Cecilia Montoya, a mother, daughter, sister, murder victim. See, I've been crying since yesterday. <laughs> I'm very frustrated. It's been um, more than, you know, 25 years that she has passed, that he, she was killed. Victoria told police the alleged rape happened around Christmas time. More than two decades after Cecilia Montoya's murder, her family members tell us it is painful to see Asubio Jasper on television. Painful that he is out on the streets at all. On Monday, Target 7 revealed Jasper is charged with raping a then 13 year old girl who later had a baby. Court records show this is not the first time he has been in serious legal trouble. Far from it. According to police reports, November 1987, Cecilia was at a Thanksgiving celebration in Tucumcari when the unthinkable happened, right in front of her family. Lucevio Jasper uh, came up while she was dancing with my nephew at that time and shot her blank point in the head. And uh, when she was falling, he shot at her two more times. The police report says prior to her murder, Cecilia divorced Jasper and had a restraining order against him. I don't know if you've ever seen someone die of a gunshot wound to her head. This, it is a, a, a picture or a, a moment that you will never forget in your life. It stays with you day in and day out. According to the New Mexico Corrections Department, Jasper served seven years for second degree murder behind bars from 1989 to 1997. Then in 2011, the then 60 year old man was charged with another crime, raping a girl over and over. Prosecutors say by the time the 13 year old child got medical care, she was days away from delivering a baby. I was scared because he told me if I did tell, I would, he would kill me, he would bury me in a ditch, and, and then he would hurt my mom and my family. Prosecutors say Jasper was living with the child's grandmother in Clovis at the time. They say two DNA tests show the baby, who is now three years old, is Jasper's. But that rape case has had multiple delays. It's now set to go to trial in January. Jasper is out on bond. And now two families who have never met said they have something in common they wish they didn't. It just brings up all of those feelings of being scared, um, sadness, and the death of my sister. That'll never go away. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin. We reached out to Jasper's attorney who says he doesn't want to comment on the murder case. Sometimes it's not a